happy Saturday. This is Sherry and I am actually bringing you into my bedroom today so I can show you where to determine or how to determine the proper length for your capris and any pant that doesn't go to your all the way to your ankle. And the question also was, so what shoes do you wear with those as well? So I am going to take you in my room, which is where I am now, and give you a little tutorial. Here we go. All right, so when you wanna determine the very best length for your hemlines, what I want you to do is I took the jeans that I've on and I put them, you can see I rolled them up above my knees. All right, what you do then is you take your heels and you make them touch. You put your one foot at two o'clock, you put your other foot at 10 o'clock. And then you will see that there is a space between my legs from say the heel all the way up to where my calves start to touch. Then the calves touch then there's another little opening. And if you're gonna wear shorter skirts, then you can test your diamonds above the knees, but I'm, I don't, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. Um, but here's the thing, you always want your hemlines to fall somewhere where there's a space. And with that, I call that my diamonds, as you can see, kind of in that upper part right there. There is a diamond, and then below on the long part, there is a diamond right there. And based on that, you always do this with flat feet, based on that, you can determine the best hem length for you. You never want your hem length to hit where your legs touch. When they do, it's gonna create a frumpy look on you. And so your, your, your hem length should always fall somewhere in the middle part, or somewhere in the, in the in just as long as, it doesn't have to be right in the middle, but somewhere where there is a diamond. All right, so I'm gonna show you this. I put the pants, well, you can see right here. I put the, the slacks right at where the fullest part of what my leg is. This is the reason, ladies, that most of us don't look good in capris because it hits right where my legs are touching, right here where the calf, where my calf is, all right? So watch what happens when I pull it down to somewhere in the middle of that diamond. So now what I did is I just moved the pants down just a little bit to where there is an opening in the diamond. And as you can see, it just looks so much better than it does when it was hitting at the widest part of my calf. Now watch what I'm gonna do. Now what I've done is I actually pulled the pant down even a little bit further. Now it works like that. These pants are made, they're, they're that length, but what you can do is you can see how much prettier that crop looks and um, it's all based on what's going on on your leg. Here's the thing, you guys. If you don't know what shoes you're gonna wear when you are gonna go out and shop and find these, these pants, then test your diamonds with flat feet. But if you do know what shoes you're gonna wear with a particular outfit and you're shopping for shoes to go, take the shoes with you because your diamonds change. Take a look at this. I just put on a pair of wedge, and if you can see, my diamonds actually got a little longer at the bottom and in the center, like right here at the knee, but, and, um, but, and even where my legs touch, it's just a little less bulky. So if you know what shoe that you're gonna wear, make sure to bring a pair of shoes with you. But um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just give you some, some samples of shoes that you might wear with either a capri or an ankle crop kind of pant that's in style this season. Now, capris I haven't seen in season, but the crops are in season, so let's take a look. As far as tennis shoes, if you're gonna wear them with a crop, I would probably get a little maybe more of an elevated tennis shoe and wear it with a t-shirt, some really cute accessories, maybe a, a neat belt and a crossover bag or something like that. But for the most part, if you're gonna be wearing crops, 
You want to have at least a little bit of a wedge so it's not and it's not super super flat because it's going to elevate you especially when it comes to finding those diamonds in your legs i hope this was helpful ask me questions leave some comments see if i explained it well enough or i'll have i'm happy to answer anything further but until next week and you guys we only have one more week before the closet outfit planner comes out oh my goodness march 1st so mark your calendars we are so excited all right i will see you then bye Thank you.